right, so here we go, another little update. Uh, where are we, sweetheart? Yeah, in our favorite bar. Bukaram. Yeah, almost two months now. Still in Martinique. We thought we were out last week, but uh, we had to wait for a part for a week after they dismantled the boat so we couldn't get going. And then finally we got going for test sale with a view of getting our COVID test on Monday because of course that's another complication. But during the test sale we discovered that when they were doing stuff to the boat they burned this rope inside the boom and that was clearly not a good thing. And so we had to come back get them to fix it, uh, which, they, which they fixed today. Very fast. So we're going for our COVID test tomorrow and the plan is, weather permitting, leaving on Thursday to the Grenadines. St. Lucia feels Oh, St. Lucia. We're going to anchor at St. Lucia for the night. They've given us special permission just to anchor to save us going the whole way overnight. Um, what else did we do, honey? I think it was a successful weekend. Saving? Yeah, no. Nothing bad happened. We checked everything. Everything works right. Yeah. Maybe a little bit intense. I think maybe Clive was a little bit intense. How it will work. <laughs> yeah, I think Clive was nervous. But finally, everything worked. Yeah. Hopefully we didn't we didn't mess up too much with Clive and uh, poor Clive he's got a lot to put up with. Um, yeah. Anyway, hard job. It's a hard <laughs> job. Anyway, the boat seems to be going well. We're still we're really getting excited about going. But what we've learned now is that expect the unexpected. So whether we leave tomorrow or not is uh, definitely. Definitely not certain for sure. Well, obviously, um, we can't plan anything because of the weather, because of PCR test, which you have to book a few days ahead and yeah, yeah. It's like complicated to combine everything and uh, if you need to fix something on the board, everything just becomes very complicated. Yeah. So, what we've learned is don't be in a rush. <laughs> don't be in a rush. Uh, anyway, we're getting it cool. So anyway, hope we're all well, and uh, hopefully the next one will come from a different country. It's about time.
So I, I don't know if anybody even listens to these, but we haven't done an update <laughs> since we left Martinique. And uh, so now we're in Grenada, which was a big step in the overall plan was big, just big getting to Grenada. When you think about it, two months ago, we were think, trying to find flights to Grenada. And now we're here, which is great. We're having a couple of day break. Yeah. Nice place out here in the west coast of east coast of Grenada. But anyway, so it's gone really well. Yeah, the, the boats hasn't had any problems at all. Um, the Genoa is in to get repaired, just this the UV strip. They've promised this on Friday. And if we get that, then we'll head off to Aruba or Bonaire or one of those places. Water might work very well. Yeah. We have enough water. Yeah, no, everything's working really well. Um, the, weather, the weather is beautiful. Not so much wind like I want. <laughs> Although I would say the photographs show the Caribbean off more than it probably deserves. But uh, no, that's, it's been very pleasant. And uh, yeah, so all things being equal, we'll leave Monday. Normally the weather I've been looking at looks okay as far as Aruba. And then after Aruba to Panama is uh, <laughs> the fifth worst crossing in the world or something like that. I thought that I thought the Pacific was going to be the challenge, but it turns out this bit's going to be the challenge. And what about you, sweetheart? How's life on board? You adjusting? Yeah, I definitely need to, to learn a lot and definitely step on, can I say step on my throat? Can I say it? Say what you want. Um, definitely, uh, I I have to learn how to save water and think all the time about water, about gas, not to use a lot of gas. A big experience to go to the toilet every time. It's some kind of challenge, especially if it's rough sea. <laughs> how to sleep in rocking on the rocking board. Sometimes I just uh, wake up in the middle of night and I can't fall asleep again because it's just not comfortable to sleep and small space which is not very comfortable too I just feel it but I really love how boat really love it and really enjoy sitting outside and to be inside I like our cabin I, I like this space it's just beautiful I, I really enjoy it yeah no no and I think we're getting better I think uh, I don't think we've made any mistakes the whole way down really um, I think it's been very smooth but then it's helped by the weather the yeah. weather hasn't exactly been howling wind but uh, no so far so good but the challenges lie ahead for sure and uh, yeah let's hope that this Aruba Panama thing every time we look on windy it's like a hurricane and uh, but that's a bridge to be crossed when we get to that bridge yep. but I'm looking forward for this honestly uh, uh, I don't have any adrenaline <laughs> yeah, she's just yesterday when we did trial it was little bit at this moment which you recorded just yeah 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 Elena, Elena thinks it, she's looking forward to this big wave because it's like a lake yeah, 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 yeah. But it'll change. Anyway, I hope everyone at home is well. Uh, we're well. And, uh, but uh, still it's nice to have a small holiday. Yeah. yeah, it's still nice to have a wee holiday off the boat. We've been living in the boat now for a month and a half. Yeah. Six weeks. And it's, uh, it's, it's nice, but it's nice to have a proper bed and a uh, proper shower. And and St. George, uh, definitely a nice place, oh, very nice marina, this beautiful area, and just everything is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And all people there saying it's the best marina. This is a nice week. One of the best marinas. But we could be stuck in Aruba for weeks waiting for a weather window, so uh, it's not necessarily going to be our last break 
for a while. Anyway, I hope you're all well, we're well, and uh, we'll check in again sometime soon. Are you going to compete with me? Are you going to win? Hmm? Nothing. Bravo. Here's your bowl. You want to get a bowl apart? Just give me 20 degrees start with you. I'm just in 20 degrees. Perfect. That's a nice bowl, isn't it? A piece of shit, wooden piece of crap. A home, it's a home for goddamn termites, is what it is. Exciting video. Well, got the wide angle lights on. So here so we are. So, a little video update before we leave. On a trip, to, we're going to Cartagena. Straight to Cartagena, we decided, so we make up more time. And we'd rather spend time in Cartagena than Curacao or uh, Aruba. And uh, it's the fifth most difficult crossing in the world. <laughs> so we're a little bit nervous. We don't know really what to expect. I'm not a little bit, I'm quite nervous. <laughs> I think we both are a little bit. It's you're relaxed, you're completely relaxed. You had fun with John yesterday and with other guys. <laughs> yeah, got a wee bit drunk last night. And uh, so what happened in the last week? We had a nice uh, rest at the hotel, nice hotel. And we traveled around Thailand. Yeah, and we discovered that uh, they are really nice, very kind friendly people, just beautiful. Yeah, Grenada's been great, really, it's a great place. And this is a great marina. Yeah. Everyone's so helpful. We had an issue with our engine. We discovered uh, that uh, the impeller, there was just little leaks from it, so we thought it was better just to get fixed. And a guy called Patrick came along and helped us with that. He was great, but a little bit expensive. <laughs> um, and we've just been getting the boat ready. What you find with boating is that you've got no time to do anything except you're on the boat working, getting things ready. You've been busy? I've been busy especially yesterday and we bought uh, a lot of food for Selvin because he's vegetarian. He's on the diet. Yeah, Selvin's he started on it. just 
one week ago he started. <laughs> but thanks God he, he will cook for himself because I just uh, imagined that I will not be able to cook. But I pre-cooked some meat and rice and something. I hope you will not die <laughs> from hunger. <laughs> So anyway, we've got the boat. I think we're ready to go. We're just waiting for Selwyn now. Just got to pay the port fees, unplug the electricity, go and fill up with fuel, and off we go. Five days, six days, whatever. It looks reasonably windy today, tonight especially. Um, and I haven't managed to get an Iridium go yet, so we can't even see the weather as we go. And then the the bad bit is after Curacao, where you go around this corner and it's quite often it's really windy. So most, most of the time it's very really bad. But Selwyn, no. Selwyn doesn't seem to bother, which worries me because... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think... But I, I trust him, I really trust him because he's local and he knows everything. And he was doing these uh, trips many, many times for other boards and, uh, and he, he, he looks very... Uh, yeah, calm and nice and uh, yeah. Let's see what we're saying when we get to Cartagena. Anyway, well, that's enough for now because we've got to upload the video before we go. And uh, we hope you're all well. We are.